Yeah, I got a kick out of it. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I'll be here. Yeah. Who's that on the phone? Orly Bodell. Guess he didn't like my little prank. Oh, well, what'd you do now? Told the cops he was holding dope. <laughs> <laughs> you think the guy never meant strip search before? He's got a sore head. Well, I mean, how could you do a thing like that, huh? The guy's getting on my nerves. He's really putting the moves on Vera. Every time I drive by the house, his damn car's in the driveway. Oh, so he's uh, coming down here now, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna talk things over a little bit. Good idea, Norm. You have a little talk, you punctuate it with a fist in his face. Well, he, he, she might have a point there, Normie. I mean, you've uh, sort of hit bottom now, so it's time to uh, make repairs, fix the old engine, and get back out on that highway. Don't tell me you wrecked a car, too, Norman. No, Coach, it's a metaphor. Those are the hardest to get parts for. They want steam? I'll give them steam. I'm going to use every weapon in my literary arsenal to make their tongues hang out in unbridled desire. <laughs> Coach, we don't want to be bothered. Who does? <laughs> All right, we got one pick in the boat. What are we going to do? I got a great idea, right? I think of a number from one to ten. Who comes the closest gets to go with Sam? Fair enough. Fair okay. enough. Okay. Right. Normie? Uh, seven. Carla? Nine. Cliff? Uh, two. I'll say three. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, Coach, Coach, you can't say anything. You know what it is. I know it. Six. Why'd you say three? Three's my lucky number. <laughs> well, Sam. Yeah, well, Coach. Listen, I think I found the answer to all the robberies in this neighborhood. Coach, don't worry about it. I'm going to get an alarm. No, no, this is much better. This friend of mine has this huge, I mean, gigantic attack dog. But he's gotten so mean lately, he can't handle them. Now, that'd be perfect protection for us from burglars. Coach, maybe so. But what are we going to do with one? I mean, uh, where are we going to keep a dog, huh? I figured the office. <laughs> and Heather, I want you to meet someone else right over here. Coach Ernie Pantuso. How do you do, Mr. Pantuso? Hi, Heather. Hi. Uh, listen, you can call me Coach by my other nickname. What other nickname? Satchmo. <laughs> Coach, you're thinking of Louis Armstrong. No, but I like that even better. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Hey, way to go, Coach. Yeah, you did that. You must have a high threshold of pain. I don't know the meaning of the word. <laughs> Pretty tough guy there. No, no, he doesn't know what threshold means. <laughs> Talk to her, huh? Ooh. Well, all right, I'm uh, thinking of a number between one and ten. Now, stop showing off, will you, Cliffy? We got a real problem here. <laughs> Coach, I I'm going to talk to her. Uh, I may be a little while here, and I don't want to be disturbed, so if I get any phone calls, uh, just take a message. <laughs> Hello. I'm Dr. Paul Kendall. I'm a licensed psychotherapist specializing in violent situations and crisis behavior. I can help that woman. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello, Carla. My name is Dr. Paul Kendall. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. Oh, Pete. You, you all right? I never saw her coming. I think she dropped from the ceiling. Well, why don't you sit down over there? We'll, we'll buy you a drink. Okay, that's it. I'll take over. Uh, Coach, maybe... I'll do it. Let me do it, Sam. Listen, I know Carla. I know Carla like the back of my hand. What the hell is that? <laughs> I never noticed that before. Uh, Coach, maybe I'll, I'll let her cool down. Cliffy, what's this in the back of my head? Do you think that every woman you see is attracted to you? Sweet. Honey, I've had enough women come on to me to know when it's happening. <laughs> and it's happening. Well, uh, I guess there's only one way to convince you. Heather? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, whoa, whoa. what are you doing? Diane, whoa, hey, I'm going to ask her. Oh, no, please, don't, don't do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it embarrasses you, but it serves you right. Heather? Oh. Honey, I'm sorry if this will make you uncomfortable, but I want to get this out of the way. 
so that the three of us can proceed to form a lasting friendship. Sam just now mistook your innocent flirtation for a sexual overture. Oh, will you please explain to him your real feelings? Certainly. Sam, I want you, and I don't care who knows it. What? Gotcha! Oh. Oh. You are a very attractive man, but for me to give up my friendship with Diane, you'd have to be rich, too. Oh. 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 Oh.